Marvin, I'm so excited to go to the club tonight. Look, I got my dancing shoes on. I'll try to get jiggy with it. What's wrong, Marvin? I hate going to the club because guys are going to talk to you and then I'm going to get upset. Guys aren't going to talk to me, Marvin. Why can't we just stay home? Hey, Marvin, what's up? Yeah, we've been pre-gaming in the car on the way over here, so you're going to have to be the DD. The DD? The designated driver, duh. Oh my God, I love your outfit. Thank you, I love yours. Marvin, what the fuck are you wearing? A suit. Why are you wearing a suit? We're going to the club. You're not going on trial. You're not holding a press conference. I thought it looked nice. No, you look like her dad, especially because she's dressed like a child on her way to church. Pointy, cut it out. No, that's fine. If they want to be embarrassed, let them be embarrassed. What am I supposed to wear? This drip swag, you know? I look like I have chlamydia. You look like a goob. Hey, Daddy, where are you guys going? We're going to the club. Oh, can I go? No, it's for adults only. Well, I'm 19. Yeah, sorry, kid. It's 21 and up. But you're a cop. Can't you sneak me in? No, because then it would be a total sausage fest. More for me and you, right, Marvin? We're married. Yeah, sure we are, buddy. Okay, everybody, to the club! Let's go. Okay, fine. I'm gonna start my own club, and none of you will be allowed in it! Oh man, Marvin, this club is lit. It sure is. Oh my god, I love this song! Me too! Okay, Marvin, now that the girls are distracted, let me know if you see any hot babes. I think I see one over there. Ooh, good eye, Marvin, good eye. Now call Batman, because the Rizzler's here. Hey, Brad, come dance over here with me, bro. Okay. Hey, ma'am, I don't like to watch sunsets, but I'd like to watch you go down on me. What? If I flipped a coin, what are the odds I'd get head? Huh? Uh, I'm in college, and normally in class, I try to get an A, but with you, I'd like to F. What? Hey, I lost my keys. I think they're in your panties. Can I look in your panties? Brad, he's trying to get in my panties. Hey, you hitting on my girl? Bro, yeah, so what if I am? Do something. No, guys, don't fight. Oh, my boy Marvin's here. He's gonna kick your ass. No, I'm not. You wanna fight, bro? I don't wanna fight. Oh, yeah, he wants to fight. Marvin called you a pussy, and he said your breath smells like cat shit. Don't talk about my breath. <laughs> Marvin! I think we should leave. <laughs> Jeffy, what are you doing to the playroom? Well, my mommy and daddy went to a club, and they said that I couldn't go, so I'm starting my own club, and it's going to be called Club Jeffy. No adults allowed. Aren't you 19? Yeah, but I'm going to be the only adult allowed here. Kind of weird, dude, but we're not going to judge. So what's all this stuff? Well, I got disco balls, a disco penis, and a bubble machine, because hoes love bubbles. Hoes do love bubbles. Everyone in the world's going to want to come here. Well, hopefully not too many people. I mean, we're going to have to get the fire marshal in here to see what the capacity of this place is. Otherwise, it's a fire hazard. Dude, you should not be allowed in here. What? Safety first. So we can invite all the people we want? Yeah, invite everybody! Let's go invite everyone! Woo! I'm gonna invite the fire marshal. <laughs> Hey, Jeffy, I brought my girlfriend, Penelope. Hey. Sweet. You like my sign? That's a pretty nice sign, Jeffy. Hey, guys, I brought the fire marshal. Top of the morning to you. Wait, Cody, no adults allowed. But he needs to make sure the room is up to code or it could be a fire hazard. No, Cody, he's not allowed in there. Come on, you can come in. What? No, he can't go in there. Oh, this club's pretty fucking sweet. Wait, is that a bubble machine? <sighs> Jeffy, what are we going to do about that? We need security. Yeah, we got to hire security to make sure no adults come in there. We got to hire someone really scary that'll beat them up. <gasps> I know just the guy. Junior, why did you call me? I hate you. Well, we were wondering if you would be the security at the new club that we just opened. Why would I be security for you nerds at your nerd club? Yeah, I don't want bully in my club. Well, Jeffy, if we hire him, he'll never be allowed in the club. He'll work outside the club. He'll never be able to come in. Oh, good thinking, Junior. Yeah, we were going to pay you $100. What? Yeah, yeah, okay, for money, I'll do it. Okay, good, you're hired. So here's what it is. No adults allowed. So ask for IDs, and if anyone shows you an ID, you make sure they don't get in, because no adults are allowed. Okay, got it. Also, there's an adult in there right now, I need you to grab them and throw them out. Okay, yeah. So what's the capacity? I'd say about 25 people. That's it? Yeah, it's a playroom on the second story of our house. All right, old geezer, time to go. What, excuse me, young man? You can't talk to your elders that way. Time to bounce. <laughs> Let me go and stay out. See, Jeffy, I told you we hired the right person. Yeah, good idea, Junior. So, Bully, I made a list of all the people that are allowed inside the club. If there's a check mark, that means they're already here. Okay, cool. All right, so only let the people in this list in. Okay. All right, so let's go. Woo! Woo! This is the greatest club ever! Okay, bro, you can step aside. PJ's here. I'm sorry, what was your name? <laughs> Ladies, you hear that? What the fuck? His name? PJ Crenshaw. Jamie James Crenshaw. Pair with Jamie's Crenshaw. I'm sorry, I don't see any of those names on the list. <gasps> PJ's not on the list? Now, ladies, calm down. I'm sure there's just been some kind of misunderstanding because PJ is on every list. Yeah, well, you're not on this list. Oh my god, PJ's not on the list! No, much on the list! Listen, bro, if you don't let me into this club right now, no girl is ever going to come here ever again. No, I understand that, but I have very strict instructions not to let anybody in unless they're on the list. Like, those girls can come in, but not you. Yay! 
Yeah, well, well, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> go Jeffy! Go Jeffy! Go Jeffy! Go Jeffy! Go Jeffy. <laughs> Did you guys hear PJ Crenshaw crying? Yeah, dude. Hold on, let me go see what's going on. <laughs> what's going on? This guy said I'm not allowed in your club because I'm not on the list. What the heck, bully? Of course you're allowed in, PJ. Uh, yeah, th thanks, bro. Hey, man, you're really lucky he showed up when he did. I was about to F you up. Come on, girls. What the heck was that about, bully? You didn't let PJ in? You said only to let people in if their name is on the list and his name was not on the list. But PJ Crenshaw's the coolest kid in the world. Of course he's allowed in. Well, you didn't tell me that. Oh my God, if you wouldn't have let PJ in, then he would have told every girl in the world not to come to this club and the club would have closed down and went bankrupt. Wait, bankrupt? Am I supposed to be charging people money to come in here? Yes, you're supposed to be charging guys $20 to get in. You never told me that. Oh my God, so you're telling me a lot of people are in there for free? Yeah. Okay, how about you charge a leaving fee? They can't leave until, you give them until they give you $20. Okay. Fine. All right, so make sure you let the cool people in. The cool people. Okay. This party's cool, huh? Yeah. Hey, can you watch my drink? I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Uh, junior, Junior. What? I think we got a situation. What is it? I just saw Patrick dump a bunch of sour Skittles into a girl's drink. He did what? Yeah, look at him. What's he trying to do? I think he's trying to see her sour face, Junior. Or he's trying to get her to taste his rainbow. You gotta let Jeffy know. Okay. Hey, Jeffy, we got a problem. What? Well, kick his ass out! Club Jeffy is a safe space for girls! And so is my face! Bully, get over here! Okay, Bully, he's right here. Alright, man, come on, your night's over. What are you talking about? Nobody's gonna be spiking girls' drinks at this club. Aw, oh, come on, man, it was just how we skittles. Nope, come on, you're going out of here. No! No, I'm not going! No, come on, man, don't make my job harder. No! You're embarrassing yourself. Pull your pants off. Get him out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Fuck you. Uh, hey, my name's Chef Pee Pee. I'm supposed to be catering this club. I got a pizza. Oh, man, you look way too old for me to let you in here. How old are you? Come on, I know your parents told you not to ask a lady her age. Sorry, I can't let you in here, man. What? I'm supposed to be delivering this pizza. You gotta let me in. Well, you could give me the pizza and I'll deliver it. Well, how do I get paid, dumbass? Uh, well, you could ask my boss. Well, where's your boss? He's inside. Well, let me in. How am I supposed to get paid if I can't go in? Sorry, I can't let you in. Well, nobody's getting this pizza then. Hey, Bully, did Chef Pee come with the pizza? Yeah, yeah, he came, but he was too old for me to let him in. What? You didn't let Chef Pee in with the pizza? Everyone's hungry. Well, no, because he's an adult and you said no adults allowed. Oh, Chef Pee can come in for a second to drop off a pizza. Well, you didn't tell me that. The sign says no adults allowed, not no adults allowed except for pizza men. Oh, you should know this. Oh, okay, you know what? If you ever have a question, just ask me and I'll come give you an answer. Okay. Did anyone else try to come in that you didn't let in? Well, there was this one guy who pulled up with ten hoes and a Dooney van, and he called himself the Coochie Man, but I didn't let him in, so he went back to Coochie Land. You didn't let the Coochie Man in? No, no, he didn't want to pay the $20 to come in, and his hoes didn't want to go in without him. If a guy pulls up with ten hoes and a Dooney van, you let him in, because that's ten hoes. Ugh, there's so many rules you didn't tell me. Okay, listen, if you ever have a question, you just ask me, and if I don't know an answer, I'll ask Jeffy. Okay. <sighs> oh. Marvin, I can't believe that man randomly punched you in the face. Yeah, so random. Yeah, why'd you do that, Marvin? I don't know. Maybe because you said I said his breath smelled like cat shit. Well, his breath did smell like cat shit. And besides, you're the one who was flirting with his girl. Well, no, I wasn't. Marvin, what? You were worried about me talking to guys and you were over there talking to girls? I wasn't talking to any girls. He was. No. Yeah, huh? Nope. Yeah, yeah, you were. Never. You said you wanted to get head. No, no, I was talking about a coin flip, Marvin. Actually, I should have said, what are the chances I get head or tail? Then I went either way. Oh, that would have been good. I should have said that. I mean, you should have said that. You know what? Karen and I are going downstairs to bake cookies. You, you hear that loud music? Yeah, it's probably just the tinnitus from how loud the club was. No, it sounds like it's inside the house. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. We should check it out. Okay. Look, Marvin, this is where the music's coming from. Club Jeffy? Is Jeffy in there? Yeah, it's his club. Let me speak to him. No, 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 no. You're way too old. No adults allowed. This is my house and this is my room. I'm allowed in. Yeah, well, it's Jeffy's club and he says no adults allowed. No, I'm allowed in. Back off, man. I'm allowed in. <clears throat> oh, my God. Wow, Marvin, hit in the face twice in one day. Well, arrest him for punching me. I'm not going to arrest a bouncer for doing his job. He's a kid. He doesn't have a job. Look, let me try to talk to him. Yo, 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 homie, what's up? Shit, number Swiss cheese. Listen, man, you're not allowed in here. Oh, come on. I'll slip you about tree fit if you let me and my friend in there. No, sorry. No adults allowed. Oh, but there's a bubble machine in there. Oh, I'm going to go in there so bad. I hate you. Jeffy! Jeffy! Hey, listen, man, calm down. Jeffy! Hey, quiet. Come on, come on. 
Oh, oh, fun to come. Oh, what's up, Barney people? These two geezers want to come in. Oh, hey, Daddy. Yeah, you're not coming in my club. Jeff, you can't start a club in my house. Well, I did, and I'm fucking up some commas. We haven't made any money. Jeffy, you have to let me inside this club since it's inside my house. Oh, uh, one, two, three, don't have to. One, two, three, you do have to. Uh, no, no. Don't let him in. <laughs> well, Jeffy, you have to let us in. I said back off, man. Oh, we'll be back, and we're going to find a way in. Come on. Woo! Best party ever. Hey, guys, look. I'm right in the bubble machine. <laughs> I forgot to charge everybody 20 bucks when you came in, so now I have to charge everyone 20 bucks to leave. Screw that, there's a fire! Yeah! Daddy! There's a fire in my club! A fire? Well, you're a firefighter, go put it out! Well, I mean, I would, but it's no adults allowed. Oh, yeah, Jeffy, there's no adults allowed, so I guess your club's gonna burn down. That's fine, it's your house. But he's right, it is my house! Go put out the fire! But no adults allowed. Go put it out! Okay. All right, kid, move out of the way, I gotta put out that fire. Nope, no adults allowed. Are you fucking kidding me? The room behind you is on fire! No, I take my job very seriously, so you're not coming in. What, what are you talking about? If I don't put out that fire, this whole house is gonna burn down. Nope, I'm not falling for your tricks. Tricks? What? Just turn around! Nope, that's the oldest trick in the book. Okay, you know what? You can fucking die. Did you put out the fire? No, that guy was an asshole and he wouldn't move. Well, what are you talking about? You didn't put out the fire? No, he wouldn't let me in. What the fire alarm's going off? Go put out the fire! No, no, this is what he wanted. That's fine. He wants to die. I want to die. That works for both of us. Go put out the fucking fire! Guys, what do you want to do today? Cody, that's my line. Yeah, dude, shut up and know your role. Sorry, I just wanted to say it this time. No, shut up. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, what do you want to do today? Oh, dude, let's play Tyrone versus the cops. What kind of game is that? Oh, bro, it's this sick game where you play as this guy named Tyrone and you have to versus the cops. Hey, yeah, give me back my rights. <laughs> well, let's play it. Can I download it for PlayStation 5? No, 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 dude, it's on PC. Well, I don't have a PC. I'm not sweaty enough. Cody, do you have a PC? Yeah, I have one at home, but my mom limits my screen time and there are parental controls on it, so I can't go on any websites that start with a P or an X. So I have to search Big Wee Wee on Google Images, and sometimes I find a good one. Oh, well, if we don't have a computer, how else can we play it? You can play it on a Steam Deck, dude. We don't have a boat, Joseph. It's not a boat, dude. Look, look, look at the commercials right there. <gasps> oh, that's convenient. <laughs> hey there, I'm TikTok superstar Shane Bastion. Now I bet you're at home playing your Atari or on your computer and you can't leave the house, but not me. I can game on the go because I've got a Steam Deck. I'm playing Tyrone versus the cops and I can play it anywhere. What other console can you play on the go? Other than that one console I can't legally say the name of, but get yourself a Steam Deck, only 650. 50 smackaroons! <laughs> Whoa! I want that! Oh no, no, Junior, stop eating my hair. Joseph, get him off! Dude, you know he does that when he wants something. I know, but we can't afford it. Pinch his ear, it's the only way. Come on, Junior. Ow, ow, okay, okay, damn. I want that! But Junior, that's 650 smackaroons. That's way too many smackaroons. Where are we gonna get that many smackaroons? I don't have any smackaroons. Do you have any, Joseph? I'm broke as a joke, bro. Well, Cody, do you have any smackaroons we can borrow? Let me see. I only have 140 smackaroons. Whoa, Cody, where'd you get so many smackaroons? Well, I work at my aunt's bakery selling macaroons for smackaroons. She gives me five smackaroons for every dozen macaroons. Oh, well, we only need 500 more smackaroons. Oh, well, that was close. You were 10 off. But still, Junior, where are we going to get all those smackaroons? Oh, I got an idea. We could have a yard sale today. It's nighttime. Yeah, we could have a nighttime yard sale. No one's ever heard of it, and that's why we'll make so much money. So look, go to your house and grab all the stuff you're willing to sell. Okay. All right, Joseph, you go to your house, too. I live in a dumpster. Go to your dumpster and grab stuff you want to sell. Okay, dude. All right, yeah, we're going to have a... Uh, wait, you left Ken! Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I was about to sell him. Okay, Junior, I'm back with my stuff. Yeah, me too, dude. Ooh, show me what you have. Wait, Junior, where's your stuff? Oh, I looked at my toys and I decided I don't want to get rid of any of my stuff. Oh, so you want us to get rid of our stuff? Yeah, what do you have? Well, I have this copy of Over the Hedge on DVD, Holographic Collector's Edition, fuck with your boy, and I got this Sticky Hulk. <clears throat> He's not very sticky anymore, but <laughs> give me 20 minutes, I'll make him sticky. And I got this jumbo sticky hand from Dave and Buster's, still in the packaging. I could get at least 100 tickets for that bad boy. And check it out, I have this original classic Kodak camera. It even still has two pictures left on it. Oh, uh, okay, well, maybe it's more like one picture now. Well, might as well take a selfie with it while I have it. <laughs> okay, guys, say cheese. 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 Ah, oh, shit, I think I blinked. Well, I guess we'll find out in one to two business days. Dude, let me show you what I got. 
I got the sick Naruto book. Man, Sasuke went nuts in this shit. Oh, and a whole bunch of football cards. But my favorite one is this autographed Deshaun Watson card. It came with a free massage, but I never cashed in on it. It doesn't look autographed. Oh, it's sticky. That's how he signs it. Oh. Yeah, my grandma gave me this crucifix too. But uh, my life's so shitty, dude. There can't be a god. There's no way. What, Joseph, why would you throw that? Dude, I don't need it. My life sucks. But what if you get cursed or some shit? It's not real. It's not gonna happen, dude. What? There's someone at the door. Maybe it's pizza. Why would you think it's pizza? Well, why else would the door ring at night? Come on, Cody. It might be a lot of pizzas. Okay. Hello? Ah! Junior, why are there nuns at your door? I don't know. What do you guys want? They're not guys, Junior. They're women. Really? Those are some ugly girls. What do you ladies want? Oh, I think they're mad that we threw the cross. Well, we didn't throw the cross. That was Joseph. Um, Junior, I think she wants you to take it. Oh, no, we don't want it. You can have it. Uh, Junior, take the cross. Just take the cross. Oh, yeah, I, I actually did want it. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Uh... Dude, was there pizza at the door? No, there was none. <laughs> Junior, <laughs> that's so fucking funny. That's a hoot. That's a hoot and a half. Oh my god, Judy, the real knee slapper. That was a regular goof of palooza. I'm gonna write that one down. I, I don't get what's funny, dude. Oh, you asked if there was pizza at the door, and there was none. <laughs> but because there was no pizza, but there were nuns at the door. Oh, why were there nuns at the door? Oh, they wanted to bring back your Jesus. What? I told you I don't need that stupid thing. Ugh! Why would you do that? Because I don't need it. Not you, Joseph. I was talking to Logan. Why would you reuse the footage of the cross going out the window, you lazy sack of shit? Just throw it again. What, do you think I wouldn't notice? And you, Joseph, why did you throw the cross again? Because I don't want it, dude. But Joseph, those nuns at the door, one of them has a shotgun. They might kill us. Oh, damn. Yeah, they were really mad. But they're not going to come back, right? <laughs> Oh, that must be pizza! No, Junior, it's the nuns again! Well, let me check my doorbell camera. Can you grab my phone? Yeah, sure. Let me see. Uh-oh, Cody, it's them again! I told you, Junior! Uh, do, do we go answer it? No, of course not! That other one has a gun! Yeah, yeah, we, we probably shouldn't answer it. Let's just ignore it. Well, guys, we're just gonna ignore them. No one answer the door. Good idea, Junior. Oh, wait, why don't we call the cops? Even better idea. Can I use your phone so we can keep looking at the cameras? Yeah, hold on, let me get it. Okay, Junior, it's already ringing. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, yeah, we have a problem. Well, yeah, you called 911, so I assumed you did. So there's two nuns at my front door. Nuns? Yeah, like the old ladies. Uh-huh. And one has a shotgun. Oh, yeah, I could see how that would be a problem. Okay, well, obviously don't answer the door. Yeah, we answered it earlier. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, so can you come here? Uh, okay, yeah, I'm on my way, but what are they doing right now? Cody, what are they doing? Uh, hold on, let me see. Oh no, Junior, they're doing emotes. And what's that? Oh no, that one's hitting the gritty hard as fuck. Oh my god, they're doing for Fortnite emotes. Oh no, those are very dangerous nuns. J just stay inside and don't answer the door. Okay, please come. Okay. What are they doing now, Cody? Uh, let me see. Oh no, Junior! One of them's doing the Macarena, and the other one's riding her gun like a pony! Oh no! What do we do? There's nothing we can do, Junior. We just have to wait for the cops. Or Joseph can take his Jesus statue back, because that's all they want. I don't want it, dude! It could save our lives, Joseph! Oh no! Junior, look! Now she's mining for materials! She's about to crack 90s, Junior! And look! She has the pig squeak axe! And she has the rocket backpack! I don't even have that one yet! Oh no! If she gets 999 of all materials, she could build up to my window and kill us that way! Oh no, Junior, look! That one's eating popcorn, and the other one's trying to solve a Rubik's Cube and clearly doesn't know what the hell she's doing! Oh, where's the cops? Please, cops, hurry up! Oh no, Junior, look, they're playing patty cake! Freeze, you nuns! Oh good, the cops yeah, are right. here. Put your hands up! Yeah, yeah, now drop that gun! Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, you drop it. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, don't shoot him, don't shoot him! Oh, she shot him! And the other one has the cop's gun now! Oh god, now she's teabagging the cop! The cop's dead? Now no one's gonna help us! Joseph, just grab that cross! Nope! For God's sake, Joseph, go get your cross! Yeah! -uh. Come on, Joseph, grab it! Yeah! -uh. You're acting like a child, Joseph! Nope, 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 nope! Joseph, grab it right now! No! We're gonna die! So! So? What do you mean, so? Well, well, hold on, maybe the cop's not dead. He got shot in the face with a shotgun, Junior. Well, maybe they missed and he's just faking his death. Let's, let's, let's see. Wait, Junior, I only see one nun. Where's the other one? Oh, dear God, Junior! Yeah, I think he's dead! Well, I was hoping he was still alive! Well, now you got your answer. Oh, well, look, there's nothing to worry about. They're outside, we're in here. As long as we have this camera view of them, we can just keep watching them. But, oh, no, Junior, what are they doing now? Oh, they're loading their guns. What? Uh, oh, no, Junior, they shot the camera. We lost our feed! Uh, well, uh, well, as long as they stay outside, we're good! Oh no, Junior, they broke in through the front door! Run and hide! Ah! 
wait, 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 wait. Maybe we should actually go run and hide instead of running in circles. Yeah, that's a good idea. Ah! Run, kitty, kitty, run. Okay, guys, we're gonna hide in my closet. Good idea, dude. Shouldn't we close the doors? No, Cody, we might run out of oxygen. Duh. The doors aren't airtight. Look, I'm claustrophobic, Cody. I don't want to close the doors. Look, we gotta think of a plan. How about we fight back like the people did on United 93? They all died. But they still fought back and died with honor. Yeah, they died fighting, dude. Yeah, would you rather get shot or at least grab the gun before you get shot? It doesn't seem like it makes much difference. We're gonna fight back. How about you guys distract the nuns and I go outside and grab the cop's reboot card? Junior, this is real life. People don't drop reboot cards. Well, maybe he did. So look, you guys distract the nuns. I'm gonna go outside and grab the card. I feel like you're just trying to leave us here. No, I wouldn't leave my two best buds to get killed and me get away safely. Ooh, guys, what is that? Is that a Nerf gun? But yeah. Grab it and give it to Joseph. But it's a Nerf gun. They have real guns. But dude, I got a nice shot. Yeah, he, he, he can shoot back. And, oh wait, Cody, is that your violin case? But yeah, how the hell did that get here? I grabbed it and, and hit it because you suck at playing the violin. I'm good at playing the violin. Oh, so look, you pull out the violin and you play your horrible music. Their ears are going to bleed. And then, Joseph, you shoot them and I run outside and grab the reboot card, okay? I mean, why don't we just stay in here, dude? They'll never find us. I think they found us. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, they're looking for us. Oh, I hope they don't find us. Oh, I really hope. Oh, we really should have closed the closet doors. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we should have done that. Yeah. Oh, everyone, be quiet. Everyone, don't move. If you don't move, they can't see you. Junior, they're nuns, not T-Rexes. <gasps> they're leaving. What? Oh. Guys, guys, I can't believe that actually worked. It worked. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I was loud. I was loud. Was I being loud? Yeah, I was loud. How loud was I being? Just a little bit, just like it was close. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, it's my bad. You guys can shoot me first if that, if that makes it better. Oh, oh, don't do that. Okay, guys, yeah, guys, before you shoot Cody, uh, he knows how to play the violin. Yeah, he's good. And and, and and you know how the people in the Titanic, they played a song while they died? Yeah, yeah, so Cody would like to play a goodbye song on his violin. Uh, okay. Yeah, can, can you do that? Okay. Oh, get the violin. Okay, okay, yeah, song, okay. Cody, hurry up. Yeah, get the violin. Okay, I got the violin. Oh, you you guys are pulling up chairs. Oh, and you got popcorn. That's yeah. Oh man, now that you guys are here, I'm getting kind of nervous. Cody, you better play your ass off. Yeah, knock your sauce off, dude. Okay, uh, I'm gonna play him by heart. We'll go on by Celine Dion from Titanic. Oh, you, you like that? Okay, good. Uh, here we here we go. <laughs> it's working. The, the, the Come on, Joseph, let's run! Run! Uh, uh, he stopped us. Oh, yeah, he, uh, he stopped us. She's good. Yeah, she wouldn't let us leave. Nope, nope, okay. Well, I, I don't blame him for that. Uh oh. Oh, okay. They're, they're, they're mad. Yeah. Pieces. Uh, it's been nice knowing you. Okay, whatever you want us to do, we'll do it. Just please, just let us live. I told you I don't want that! Uh, you know what? This is my favorite thing ever. I'm, I'm gonna cherish this forever. What? That's it? What? You guys killed a cop just for that? They just really want you to have that, Joseph. Jesus, that was that was crazy. What the hell? Don't even let go of that. Just keep it in your hands yeah, at all times. I, I will, I will. So, Joseph, you said your grandma gave that to you? Yeah, dude, but I didn't think she was going to be on my ass about it. My phone's ringing. God, it's her. Hello? Joseph, what the shit? Why are my sisters from church, Glorisa and Betty Mae, telling me that you threw that cross I gave you out the damn window? Because I don't need it, Grandma. Bullshit! You saw they were packing heat! Yeah, I saw that. Look, look, I, I will never throw it out of the window again. I'm sorry. Good, you better not. Now give Grandma some sugar. <sighs> I love you. I love you too, Grandma. God. Well, Joseph, you better hang that up so no demons come after us. Or nuns. Yeah, we don't want to get none down. <laughs> three keys buy me another one Jeffy I don't have the money to buy you a new one right now but daddy I need that paper that cash cash green cash cash well why don't you get a job and then you can make that green cash cash green cash cash too hard no it's not too hard Jeffy well it's too hard for me to let you borrow money Marvin look the news breaking news okay there's a phone app that will let you adopt animals straight from your phone and have them delivered to your house. What a time to be alive. Wow, Marvin, what a neat idea. See, Jeffy, if you thought of a cool business idea like that, you'd make tons of money. Okay, well, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start my own business. Yeah, right. Oh my God, did you just see the new food delivery app that they announced on the news? They deliver cat and dog right to your door. America is amazing. 
Okay, guys, you ready to play doo-doo kangaroo? How do you play doo-doo kangaroo? Well, you feed donuts to this kangaroo until he doo-doos, and you press this button on the back of the toilet, and that's gonna make him doo-doo all over the place, so you have to collect as many donuts as you can, but none of the doo-doos. See, that's a donut, and on the other side, that's a doo-doo. Don't pick up any doo-doos. So it's just a shitting kangaroo, dude? <laughs> yeah, Joseph, he's a kangaroo. <laughs> that's a crappy joke, dude. Sorry. Okay, so how do we start? Uh, okay, so uh, I'm gonna press this button and make him doo-doo. Oh, oh, he's gonna doo-doo! Get ready for doo-doo! Oh, he's going crazy. Come on, shit, you stupid kangaroo. Yeah, where's the poop? Uh, well, there's one. That's, I can't collect that. That's a doo-doo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't touch that. I think he's constipated. Yeah, I can tell. He's not doo-dooing, Cody. Oh, oh there's, there's one. one. There's that's, all a, poop. No, that's a doo-doo. You can't take it. Okay. Get it. Wait, that's a doo-doo. Where's the delicious donut? I... Oh, oh no, 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 no,
escape room? Yep. Well, what's the theme? My bedroom. Well, what are the rules? Well, if you see a crusty sock in there, don't touch it. Okay. Well, it's not very scary. It's terrifying. Come on, Karen, we got this. You got one hour to try to get out. Oh, this is gonna be a piece of cake. Ooh, it looks like a little kid's bedroom. It is a little kid's bedroom, Boiny. Any questions? Can we escape out the window? No. <laughs> Let the escaping begin! Oh, look, Karen, this must be the first clue. Doo-doo kangaroo. Hmm, that rhymes. And look at these. These must be the doo-doos. But look, there's also donuts. Quick, Karen, count the donuts. One, two, three, four, five. There's five donuts, and I have five fingers. <gasps> that must mean that I can use my fingers to open the door. I got it. <laughs> I told you, Karen, we'd get out of here in less than ten minutes. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, shit. It's not working. I don't know why I thought it would be that easy. El Chapo would have figured that out. All right, Karen, there must be more clues around here somewhere. We have five donuts. And look, there's four donuts on this thing. And look, Karen, a magic eight ball. Five, four, eight. That must be some kind of code. Hmm. Oh, the microwave. Maybe I can put in five, four, eight. Five, four, eight. That's a sticker. Boyne, open the microwave. Oh, good idea, Karen. Let me see what's in there. <gasps> it's a watch. Oh, what time is on the watch? It's 548. Okay, 548. That must be the code. Let me try it again. 548. It's still a sticker. Damn it. But 548, that's a time. That must mean that it's time for us to leave. Let me try the door again. <laughs> oh, damn it. Come on. Ugh. Five, four, eight. Is that right? Is that the code? I, I don't really see a place to put in a code around here. So is it five, four, eight? Ugh, damn it. I guess they don't give clues. Ugh, come on, Karen. There has to be more clues around here somewhere. And you have to help if you want to go to dinner. Okay, fine, Boiny. Okay, what do we have? We have five, four, eight. Hmm. Or eight, five, four. Or eight, four, five. Oh, Boiny, try opening the oven door. Oh my God, Karen, you're right. What's in there? Oh my God, Karen, there's a pizza in there. And it has four slices. So that's five, four, eight, four. Oh, Boiny, look, the oven's set to 350. Oh my God, Karen, you're right, it is. So that's five, four, eight, four, three, five, zero. That's seven digits. That could be a phone number. We should call it. But Boiny, I don't think we can use our phones in here. No, Karen, the only rule is that we're not allowed to touch the sock. We can use phones. So I'm going to call it. Five, four, eight, four, three, five, zero. Karen, it's ringing. But Boiny, how do you know you got the numbers in the right order? Because that's the order we found them in, duh. Hello, who is this? Why you call this number where you want? Yes, are you part of the escape room? Did I win? What the fuck you talking about? Is the code 5484350? That's my phone number. Yes, did I win? Don't call this number no more! Hmm, don't call this number no more. See, that's a double negative. That means he does want us to call him again. I'm gonna call him again. What the fuck you want? Yes, if I could just get the code, I can win. Fuck off! Hmm, fuck off. That has seven letters. And seven, eight, nine. Six was afraid of seven because seven, eight, nine. And there's a pizza in the oven and you can eat pizza. No, Boyne, you can't eat that pizza. It's a toy. Yes, that's right. This pizza is fake. And there's four letters in fake. That means the four is fake. We shouldn't use the four. Hmm, actually, y you know what? I think I'm actually going to go beg for a clue to make sure we're not totally off track here. Wait, but Boyne, look over there. It says step two. Oh my god, Karen, you're right. This is step two. So what was step one? I'm gonna go ask what step one was. Hey, I desperately have a question. What do you want? You give up yet? <laughs> Not a chance. But I found step two, and I was just wondering what step one was. Getting in the room. Oh, of course, of course, of course, of course. That is the first thing we did. All right, Karen. So we were kind of on the right track, but we got the numbers out of order. So the new code is 35084. Wait a minute, there's one bowling pin. So that means the new code is 350184. And what's this under the four donuts? It's Twister. Oh, Karen, this just got a lot more complicated. Boiny, I'm so hungry. Come on, help me with Twister. Yeah. Okay, Karen, do you notice anything weird about Twister? Well, there's four colors, Boiny. That's right. There's green, yellow, blue, and red. And look at that, Karen. Look, there's four colors on those donuts. Red, green, blue, and purple. But there's no yellow. But there is purple. That must mean the code is purple. Or yellow. Oh, Boiny, look over there. That scooter's purple. You're right. And that bowling pin is yellow. So that must mean we have to ride that purple scooter into the door while holding the yellow bowling pin. That must be the code. Come on, Karen. Jeffy, what are you doing? Nothing. Why are you grabbing your door handle? I'm not. Why don't you go in your room? Don't want to. Are you locked out of your room? No. Then why don't you go in it? Because I don't want to. <sighs> Jeffy, listen, I was coming here to talk to you because I know you want a new cat piano and we just don't have a lot of money right now. And I was just, you know, just letting you know that maybe I could buy you a new cat piano if you just be good for like a week. 
Too hard. What, what do you mean too hard? Jimmy, why are you grabbing your door handle? I'm not. What's in your room? Nothing. I want to check. No, no, you're not allowed. Why? Because I don't want you to. What's in the room? Nothing. Jeffy, open the door right now. But Hoppel. Get out of the way. No, Daddy, no! All right, Karen, let's escape this bitch like El Chapo. Yeah. What's going on in here? Fuck yeah, we did it, we won! <laughs> Fuck yeah! What is going on? Marvin, your son makes the best escape rooms. I'm not gonna lie, it was kinda hard, but he didn't know I'm the master of escape. I'm like Houdini, I can get out of anything. What are you talking about? Here, you can keep your stupid fucking bowling pin, but I'm keeping the scooter, cause I get out in like three minutes. Come on, Karen, let's go to Olive Garden. Yay! I really have no idea what you guys are even talking about. Fuck yeah! That's fine, Karen. I just spent half our life savings to buy a courtside ticket to Game 6 to watch the Miami Heat beat the Boston Suck Dicks. Why did you spend half our life savings on basketball tickets? Well, I spent half of my life savings because you just sit on the couch. You don't really do anything. But yeah, I did. But do you really think it's worth it? <laughs> Is it worth it to go watch the Miami Heat win the Eastern Conference and smell Jimmy's ass as he runs by me? Yeah, I think it is, Karen. Well... Boyne, I guess if it means that much to you, it'll be nice for us to go together. When do we leave? We? Uh, oh, no, no, no. That, that was for one ticket, just for me. Boyne, you spent $100,000 on one ticket? Well, yeah, Karen, I can't bring you. I don't want Jimmy to know I'm married, so whenever he wins and he lifts up that trophy, I can show him my jersey that says, Himmy Butler, marry me, and he'll kiss me on the lips. Boyne, that man is not going to marry you. Uh, yeah, he will. And besides, you're already married, Boyne, to me. Well, he's not going to know that, because when we're on the flight over to Denver, I'm going to send you divorce papers. Boyne, Lose. They're not gonna lose, Karen. Nobody has ever blown a 3-0 lead. Oh my god, Boyne, you're just not making any sense! Yeah, well, people don't make sense when they have a heat stroke. So you just stay here and watch the game. But don't be surprised if the TV melts from all the heat! Oh my god, he's lost his mind! I can't believe I'm at Game 6 at the Eastern Conference Finals! Oh my god, Jimmy's gonna win and go on to the Finals! Go, Jimmy, go! Jimmy Butler, I love you! Have my baby, Jimmy! Marry me! That's Jimmy Butler right there! I get to see him in the flesh! Jimmy! Jimmy win the game, Jimmy! Go to the finals, Jimmy! Jimmy! I promise! I'll do anything for you, Jimmy! Oh my god, Jimmy! Oh, Jimmy! Oh, Jimmy! Pull your dick out, Jimmy! Pull your dick out, Jimmy! Come on! Come on, pull your dick out! Slap him with it! Oh, there it is! There's his dick! There it is! And slap! That's Jimmy fucking Butler! He just pulled his big dick out! That's Jimmy Buckets! That's Jimmy! That's him! He's gonna win it all! We're gonna win! Jimmy, I love you! I love you, Jimmy! I'll eat your ass! I'm in the mob, Jimmy! Jimmy! Play some D, Jimmy! You got a hot dick, Jimmy! Come on! Play some D! Play some D! Come on, hey! Come on! Come on, Jimmy! Get on, Jimmy! Get on, Jimmy! Block it! Hell no! Hell no! Hell no! Pass it to Jimmy! Just pass it to Jimmy! Why would you not give it to Jimmy? What was that? What was that? What was that? That was a foul! He should have passed it to Jimmy Butler! Oh, here he comes! Come on, Jimmy! Come on, Jimmy! Come on! To the three! Oh! Jimmy Buckets! Jimmy! Oh my god, it's a two-point game! With only 16 seconds left! Come on, guys! You can do this! For the lead! For the win! Come on, Jimmy! Come on, Jimmy! Come on, Jimmy! Please do it, Jimmy! That's three shots! Three shots! Three shots! That's three shots! It is determined that he gets to take three shots! Ah! Jimmy! Jimmy Butler! Jimmy! Jimmy, you get three shots! Jimmy, listen! Jimmy! If you make these three shots, you go to the NBA Finals! I believe in you, Jimmy! I love you so goddamn much! Shh! 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 Everybody shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Everybody shut up! Please shut the fuck up! Jimmy's about to shoot. He needs quiet. Quiet for Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. I love you. I know you got this. Big you, Jimmy. Just make it. Jimmy! Jimmy Buckets! Jimmy Buckets! Yeah, everybody shut up! 
He's trying to focus. Jimmy Butler, you're the best. You hear me? Jimmy? Make it. Make it. Please make it. Oh, Jimmy! Jimmy! Only two more. Jimmy! Oh, my God, he made it. Jimmy! 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 Bucket! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Everybody shut the fuck up. Everybody shut the fuck up. Tyler, shut the fuck up. Hey, kid. Put your shirt back on. Just one more shot. Tyler, shut up. Jimmy, I know you got this. I believe. I love you. Jimmy Butler. Move, ref. I can't see. Ah! That's right. Take my fucking picture. I was here, bitch. I just went to Jimmy Butler win it because he's the goddamn goal. I can't believe it. We're winning by one. Stop celebrating. There's three seconds left. We can still lose. Calm down. <laughs> Look at Derek White. Or like Derek wiped my ass. What's he even doing here? Get out of here, loser. Doesn't even know how to play basketball. We won! Yeah! What? 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 Wait. Wait. What happened? Did he make it? What? How? 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 Wait. No fucking way! I can't believe it. They lost. They lost! Fuck! Fuck! This is the worst day of my fucking life! I came here just to lose. I want to die. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> How was it, Boiny? Shitty. I know, Boiny, because I watched it, and I watched you lose us $100,000! Oh, look, Karen, don't you think I feel bad enough? I just went all the way over to Miami just to watch them lose with 0.2 seconds left to the Boston Suck Dicks. You're right, Boiny. I'm sorry I yelled. Well, if you're mad now, it's only gonna get worse, because I just bet the rest of our life savings that Miami's gonna win Game 7. What are you just team that just lost? Hey, look, Karen, no team has ever blown a 3-0 lead, okay? And Jimmy's not gonna go out like a bitch. He's a warrior. But they just lost, Boiny. That was a fluke, Karen. They put extra seconds on the board. I saw it with my own two eyes. Boiny, if they lose, though, we'll lose everything. We'll lose the house, we'll lose our money, and I'll never speak to you again. Well, that sounds like a win-win to me. I mean, I lose my faith in Jimmy, but I also lose you, and I can start a new life. And hey, if I win, I get $300,000. Oh, that is a lot of money. Yeah, and I can use that money to buy an engagement ring so Jimmy will marry me. Boydie, I don't think you thought this through. Oh, I've thought the whole thing through, Karen. The wedding, the honeymoon. We're going to have a honeymoon in Cancun, and then we're going to settle down and have a nice little family of Asian kids because we're going to adopt. But don't worry, there will be a lot of sex. Okay, that's very nice, Boydie, but why didn't you save that money so that you could go to Game 7? Well, I'm bad luck, apparently, because Jimmy was i the shit out of me the whole game. I, I kept saying, Jimmy, Jimmy, the game's over there. And then he blew me a kiss, and I caught it. A little bit of tongue. But that's why I don't want to go to game seven, because I don't want to distract him. He needs to be focused. Okay, Boiny, when's the next game? It's in a couple days. Now, I'm going to go meditate in the closet and pray to Himmy. Just don't bother me. Himmy. Himmy. Boiny. Himmy. Boiny, the game's about to start. It's been two days. Fuck yeah, it's time. All right, Karen, I'm ready. Hey, could you turn the heater on? I want it nice and hot in here for the heat. Boiny, what's with the hot dog? Well, Jimmy has never lost a game while I was sitting on this couch eating a 12-inch hot dog while meat riding him. People say I meat ride Jimmy Butler, and they're right. I do tricks on that thing. This right here, that's Jimmy's wiener. Actually, I bet it's even bigger than this. Wow, that is something. Boiny, that's gross. Have you seen the remote, Karen? I don't want to miss the game. Well, Boiny, uh, why don't you look at the TV? What, what are these highlights from the last game? Wait, 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 did they already win? Yeah, Boiny, they won! Aren't you excited? You want all that money? But I wanted to see Jimmy go crazy. But Boiny, they won! Aren't you happy? Well, yeah, but why didn't you come get me? Because I was gonna leave you in that closet forever, Boiny, if they lost. But they won! 
Yeah. Yeah, they did win. Jimmy actually did it. Go, Jimmy. Hey, you think he won because I was in the closet meditating? Uh, oh, yeah, Boiny, definitely. So, so I should be in the closet for every game? Yes, Boiny, and save us all that money. Oh, I'm going to do that from now on. Screw this hot dog. It's nugget time. This is what Jimmy Butler's going to do to the Denver Nuggets. He's going to rub them on his balls, then he's going to eat them. <laughs> the Nuggets suck. Actually, they're pretty good. Actually, they're very good. I'll be surprised if we win one single game. You don't think we're going to win, Boiny? No, no, I don't. Well, I hope we win. Oh, I do too. If we win the finals, I'm going to get 22 tattooed on my back, and then I'm going to get property of Jimmy Butler tattooed on my butt, and then I'm going to have him do a hand turkey on my left ass cheek like a kindergartner. Now I hope they lose. Lose? Jimmy doesn't know the meaning of the word lose. He almost blew a 3-0 lead, Boiny. But did he? No, he didn't. So shut up. I don't want to hear that ever again, okay? Get out of here with that weak shit. They're not going to lose. But I'm going to be in the closet for the next few days until the finals start. And I'm going to take these nuggets with me because I haven't eaten in two days. So I'll be in the closet eating nuggets. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just one more thing. One more thing real quick. Go eat! So, guys, what do you want to do today? Ooh, let's go swimming in your pool. I just want an excuse to take my clothes off around you guys. Yeah, dude, let's swim. But I'm going to keep my shirt on. Yeah, I'll keep my shirt on, too. Oh, come on, guys. You guys are lame. Let's see some belly button. Or any hole, for that matter. Damn it. Come on, Ken. Oh, man, Joseph, I can't wait to go swimming. Oh, yeah, dude, it's going to be so much fun. Hey, bruh. Wait, who are you? I'm Brad with a big D. Hey, do you mind if I go surfing in your pool? Well, there's no waves in my pool. Yeah, there are. Look at all those little ones. Okay, I guess you can. Oh, uh, thanks, bruh. That was weird. Right? All right, Ken, put some sunscreen on me. You know I burn like a DiGiorno pizza that's been left in the oven for five minutes too long. And make sure you get plenty between my butt cheeks. I don't want a pale crack. Ken, Ken, I don't feel anything wet dripping on my back. <laughs> Ken, Ken, what are you doing? Ken, what are you looking at? What the? Ken, you're looking at him? Huh? You think he's hot? Yeah, well, look at him. Look at him all you want, because he's not even hunky. He doesn't even have muscles like I do. Look at me, Ken. Look at me! Ken! Ken! Oh, oh okay. Okay, you want him so much? Then you can have him. Joseph, we should play pool basketball. Oh, yeah, dude, let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> guys, I'm not swimming anymore. What's wrong, Cody? Because Ken is flirting with that hot new guy in the pool. You mean Brad with a big D? Oh, God, you've seen it. My two-inch pincher can't compete with a big D. <laughs> <sighs> let's go see what's wrong with Cody. Oh, Ken? <laughs> Calm down, Cody. No, why is Ken looking at other guys? Am I not hot enough for him? No. What? But I have a six-pack. Dude, your face looks like a pizza. Yeah, there's pepperonis all over your face. Well, okay, I know my face isn't that hot, but the the rest of me's hot. I'm hotter than Brad. Well, Brad's face looks better. No, Brad's ugly. I wouldn't kiss him if he was the last man on earth. Okay, well, maybe I would. Maybe, maybe I would kiss him if he, like, cornered me alone in a room. Actually, maybe I'd approach him and kiss him. No, oh God, he's a stud muffin. <laughs> See, look, if you think Brad's hot, why are you mad at Ken for thinking he's hot? Well, but, you know, don't stare at him like that. You know, don't break your neck. His, his head was turned so far to the right, I thought his head was gonna fall off. What, Ken? Hey, I don't really appreciate you throwing your doll at me like that. Well, he was basically throwing himself at you. Anyway, thanks for letting me use your pool, Junior. Bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Jeez, why is everyone sucking him off so much? He's not that great. I mean, I know his hair is fantastic, and his tan is really hot, and he has beautiful blue eyes. Ken, what do you have to say for yourself, huh? What'd you do when I left, huh? You, you guys do the hokey pokey, huh? Turn yourself around, slut? What, well, Cody, how about we play a board game so you can stop arguing with Ken? <sighs> okay, yeah. Okay, guys, I have two board games we can play. We can play Gobble Monster. <laughs> That's what Ken was being with Brad's nuts. A little Gobble Monster. Or we can play Rattlesnake Jake. <laughs> yeah, Ken was playing with Brad's rattlesnake. His wiener. Can we just play Gobble Monster? <laughs> hey, look at me. Who am I? <laughs> oh, it's Brad's nuts. I'm a little Gobble Monster. <laughs> Dude, you're going to ruin the game. Yeah, Cody, are you going to play? Yeah, I'll play. Ken can just sit here and watch. Since he likes to watch so much, like he was watching Brad in the pool under the waterfall in slow motion. Cody, we don't want to hear you and Ken argue. Yeah, 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 yeah. You hear that, Ken? They don't want to hear you argue, so get out of here. What? Damn, dude, you're going to break your doll. Nah, don't worry about him. He's pretty durable. I've done worse. All right, guys, let's play Gobble Monster. <laughs> Ken's a little Gobble Monster for nuts. We get it, nigga. God. Okay, guys, let's play. How do you play? Well, you pull his tongue out and you put the toys on his tongue. Wait, pull his tongue out? Wait. 
Jesus H Christ, I like this. Yeah, and then we press this button. And now, every time you touch the tongue, it makes that noise. So if we put the toys on his tongue and we try to grab it, you have to grab all the toys before his tongue sucks back okay, in his mouth. I think I see where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> I like this thing. Hey, could you guys give me a minute alone with this? Well, Cody, no, we want to play the game. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I think I have a different game in mind. <laughs> well, we want to play the game, so leave, Cody. Yeah, I guess you guys are right. I should probably go check on Ken. I feel bad for arguing with him. This kind of made me think of him. All right, let's play before he gets back. Yes, finally, dude. Ken? Ken? I'm sorry I threw you. I just want to talk and apologize. Wait, Ken? Ken, what are you doing here with all these dudes? Is that Buzz Lightyear? Oh, hell no. First you're looking at Brad, and now you're cuddled up with all these dudes and Buzz Lightyear? Oh, I get it. Buzz Lightyear's enough for you. You don't want me anymore. Okay, fine. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Your turn, dude. Okay, I'm gonna go for this piece. <laughs> What's wrong, Cody? Me and Ken broke up. He cheated on me with Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear? To infinity and beyond. <laughs> I hate him. Well, cheer up, Cody. Cheer up? How would you feel if your boyfriend cheated on you with Buzz Lightyear? Well, I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and cry. I'll never be happy ever again. So, uh, are we gonna finish this game? Yeah, let's play again. Alright, All right, Joseph. It's your turn to grab a nugget. Okay, dude. Oh, that was close. <laughs> All right, my turn. Oh, you cheated, dude. You just pushed it off. Oh, see, you cheated. It was, it was supposed to jump on you. Oh, that scared me. Oh, we haven't heard from Cody in a long time. I wonder what he's doing, dude. Let's go check on him. Hmm. I hope Cody's home. Hello? Hey, is Cody here? Oh, no. Who's at the door, baby? They want to see Cody. Oh, Shamu, the beach whale. Yeah, he washed up earlier today. Yeah, you want to see the behemoth. I thought I was already looking at a behemoth. Oh, no, I'm big, but Cody, oh, good grief. That's a big bitch. Yeah, huge. You got to pay to see that. Yeah, you boys can come in, but be careful. Do you have any food on you? He can smell it a mile away. But, no, I don't have any food. Okay, you boys can come in, but just watch out. Shh, shh. All right, kids, there he is. Mom, can you give me some more Chunky Monkey ice cream? Jesus. Yeah, he's in his natural habitat. Being a fat ass pig, get up, boy. Oink, 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 you got customers. What, Junior, is that you? Cody. Hey, 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 you want to feed him? Five dollars, you get to feed him all the Oreos you want. I want to feed him. Here you go. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> all right, here you go. Hey, hey, no biting. You gonna run away to customers, boy. It's not worth it. Cody, why are you so fat? Well, if your boyfriend cheats on you, what's the point in staying hunky? Why, why are you in your underwear? Oh, none of my clothes fit anymore. Hey, do you guys know how good Chunky Monkey ice cream is? I mean, it is like the best <laughs> mother ice cream I've ever had. I mean, chocolate fudge brownie's pretty good, but oh, God, Chunky Monkey. Well, Cody, we really want to hang out with you. Yeah, I'll, I'll roll my way over to your place at some point. Okay, we'll, we'll see you later, Cody. Another happy customer. All right, boy, get ready for the next family. Come one, come all. Let's see the fattest boy on planet Earth. <laughs> he won't bite. Come on, dude, I want a rematch. You cheated. I didn't cheat, Joseph. You suck at the game. Get good. <laughs> Cheating? You mean like Ken did to me? Oh, hey, Cody. Don't you mean roundy? Because <laughs> he's big and round and a fat. That's lame, Joseph. <laughs> dude, I tried. Hey, you guys have room on the couch for me and my ice cream? I mean, not the ice cream. You Probably get, get rid of that. Well, I can't just get rid of this. Why? Well, because it's Chunky Monkey, Junior. Chunky Monkey's just so f sucking delicious. Oh, you don't know, you don't even understand. If you had a lick of my Chunky Monkey, you would understand. And then maybe you could try my ice cream. <laughs> well, I don't like how fat you are, Cody. Yeah, it's very ugly. Yeah, you're, you're really fat. Hard to look at you. Okay, well, I, I do still have feelings. Well, no guy's gonna want you being that fat. Oh, yeah? Well, how about I introduce you guys to my new boyfriend, Minecraft Steve. What, Minecraft Steve? Yeah, he can punch down trees with his bare hands. It's badass. Everything about him is blocky. And I mean everything. <laughs> it's actually kind of a problem, because he has a lot of hard corners. But, you know, my bunghole is square-shaped now. <laughs> so, like, you really like him? Oh, yeah. I think you could say things are getting pretty serious. He built us a cabin in the woods. And then some creepers blew it up, but <laughs> that's just life, you know? Isn't that right, Steve? <laughs> well, as long as you're happy, Cody. Oh, yeah, I'm happy. I'm really happy. <laughs> I hate Minecraft, Steve. All he ever does is punch dirt and collect rocks. He's so lame.
<laughs> well, why don't you just take Ken back? I can't take Ken back. He cheated on me with Buzz Lightyear. Well, did you ever physically see him cheat? Well, no, but he was looking at other guys, and then I found him with a whole bunch of other guys in Buzz Lightyear. Well, don't you always hang out with other dudes? Oh, well, yeah. So, like, that's, what's the difference? You're just being mad for no reason. Oh, okay, but e even if I did want to get back with Ken, he wouldn't take me if I look like this. Well, just lose the weight. Stop eating Chunky Monkey. Junior, I can't stop eating Chunky Monkey. It's so goddamn fucking delicious. Ugh. Oh, but no, I can't do that. I mean, look, I can't just drop the weight. It's not like I can just have a montage and lose all the weight suddenly. Oh, wait. This is YouTube. <laughs> I can do exactly that. Okay. All right, Joseph, it's your turn. Okay, I'll do it. But don't, you cheated! You must have set it up! Oh no, you just suck at the game. No, I don't! Hey guys, I'm back. Whoa, Cody, you're ripped! Yeah, didn't even take long. Well, you want some more Chunky Monkey? Ugh, chunky Monkey. No, I can't. This monkey is no longer Chunky. I'm Hunky Monkey now. <laughs> so what are you gonna do now, Cody? I'm gonna get my boyfriend back. Ken, I want you back, and I'm willing to fight all these guys to do it. So come on, one at a time, let's see what you got. Oh, Buzz Lightyear, huh? Well, you're not even a flying toy. <clears throat> oh, you're an astronaut? Well, this is one small step for man and one giant foot in your ass. <clears throat> oh, Woody, you've got a friend in me, but you've also got a foot in your ass. <clears throat> oh, the Green Goblin? Don't tell Harry about the foot in your ass. <clears throat> oh, Superman, my mom's name's Martha too. <clears throat> Just kidding, foot in your ass. Come on, Ken, let's get out of here. Hey guys, me and Ken worked it out. We decided we can look at other guys, but if we decide to add a third guy to this gumbo, we both have to approve him. So what are you guys doing? We're playing Rattlesnake Jake. That looks fun. Uh, your turn, Joseph. Okay, dude. <laughs> My turn. Stop wiping it off, dude. You're, just, you're not even picking it up. All right, my piece went over there. Your turn. <sighs> Scott, I'm over this game. <laughs> I'm gonna borrow this. I'm gonna bend over in front of it. Come on, Ken. What is it? I wanted to color with my crayons, but we ran out of paper, and now I don't know what to color on. Well, if we don't have any paper, I'll buy you more paper tomorrow. But I want to color right now! Well, I want a million dollars right now. Me too! Jeffy, just be patient. Jeffy, just be patient! Jeffy! Jeffy! Jeffy, don't talk back. Jeffy, don't talk back! Jeffy, just take your stupid crayons, and if you can't find any paper, just wait till tomorrow. But Daddy, I don't know what to color on! Well, if we don't have any paper, you're not coloring on anything, so leave! Daddy, I'm gonna find something to color on! No! Stop it! No, you're not calling out anything! Oh, he makes me so mad. Stupid daddy won't give me paper or color. Well, it's 2021 and the wall identifies this paper. Mario, what's that sound? It sounds like Jeffy! Come on! Jeffy! What are you doing? I'm drawing a pretty, pretty picture. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty picture? Who's that pretty, pretty picture supposed to be of? Oh, it's a character I made up. Oh, it's a character you made up? Are you sure it's not me? No, it's not you. Oh, 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 oh so you're saying I'm a bum. I never said that. And you're saying I sniff butts? I don't sniff butts, Jay. I never said you did, Daddy. Jay, that is it. You are grounded because you are a bad boy. <laughs> Say I'm a bad boy! Because you are a bad boy! <sighs> baby, baby, is that a drawing of me? It kind of looks like you, I guess. It is me! What the? What happened right there? Oh, I first tried drawing on the wall with a hammer. <laughs> Jimmy, you are a bad boy! Go to your room! <laughs> Oh, Jeffy just makes me so mad. I feel like my head's gonna explode. Mario, we should go for a walk. Calm down. Yeah, yeah, I think I need some fresh air. Okay. <sighs> Do you feel better, Mario? Yeah, kinda. Wait, are you not wearing shoes while walking outside? I'm earthing, Mario. Th that's gross. Your feet are gonna be all, like, dirty on the bottom. It's okay, I can bathe. What's that noise? Mario, it's a shooting star! <laughs> do, we, do we call someone? No, Mario, make a wish! Okay. I wish Jeffy would be a good boy for just one night. Mm. 
Let's go inside, Mario. Yeah, I don't want to get hit by the crossfire. Oh man, today has been the perfect day. Nothing could ruin this day, nothing. Hi, Boyne. But you're gonna try, aren't you? Boyne, how was your day today? Karen, my day has been fantastic. I had the day off, I played video games, I watched TV, I drank root beer, it's been a great day. Boyne, that's wonderful, I'm glad to hear it. You know, I was at the grocery store and I saw the cutest baby! And it made me realize that I wanna have a baby with you, Boyne. Like right now! Oh, nope, 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 man, you ruined it. You ruined it. You ruined the whole day now. But, Boyne, you don't want to have a baby? No, no, I don't, Karen. Kids are terrible. How about this? How about we start with a goldfish, and if you don't kill that, we work our way up to a hamster. And if that's still around, then maybe we can have a cat, and then another cat, and then we get another cat, and we just keep getting cats forever instead of having a kid. But, Boyne, imagine a kid with my eyes and your gorgeous stash! No, no, I don't want to imagine that, Karen. Kids are terrible. Why don't we just get a cat? Cats are clean, they clean themselves, you know, they poop in a box, and then they cover up the poop. You know, kids, they poop on everything. And if you raise them wrong, they commit crimes. Cats don't commit crimes. Mr. Puffy Pants doesn't commit crimes. Pointy, I really want to have a baby! Uh, 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 okay, okay, you, you know what, Karen? Just, just stay, stay right here. Stay right here. I have an idea. Wasn't that a nice walk, Mario? Yeah, I guess it was. Well, ew! Look how dirty your feet are! Oh, I'll shower later. Ugh. Hey, man. Ah! How'd you get in my house? Oh, I just let myself in. Well, what are you doing here? Okay, I need a huge favor. What? All right, you got a kid, right? Yeah. And he sucks, right? Oh, he's the worst kid on this planet. Oh, that's great. I mean, it's not great for you. That sucks for you, but it's awesome for me. How is it awesome for you? Okay, look. My wife wants to have a kid, and I want to show her how bad it is to have a kid. Okay, so I'm going to bring her over here, and I'm going to show her your kid and how bad he is, and that'll make her never want to have kids. I mean, that's a good idea. Yeah, bring her over. She'll hate Jeffy and she'll hate kids. Oh, awesome. Okay, I'm going to bring her over and just make sure he's like breaking stuff and screaming and pooping his pants and stuff like that. No, 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 no. I'm not going to get Jeffy to do all that because I already deal with enough of that already. So no, I'm not doing that. <sighs> okay, okay, man. Look. I will pay you $10,000 to do this for me. Why will you pay so much? Because if I have a kid, it's going to cost me way more than $10,000. I'm going to have to deal with 18 years of screaming, okay? If I can make one payment to not have to deal with that, it's worth it. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. I'll have Jeffy breaking stuff. I'll have him pooping his pants, everything. Mario, we shouldn't exploit Jeffy's temper tantrums. Oh, we're going to make money off his temper tantrums because I have to pay for my wall that he broke. So, yeah, we'll definitely do it. Yeah, go, get, go get your wife. Okay, yeah, I'll go get her. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at my wife's feet. Ew! Why do they look like that? Because she goes outside without, without wearing shoes. But why? That's what shoes are for. I am one with the earth. Yeah, you're going to be one with a podiatrist if you keep that up. That's gross. Yeah, it's disgusting. So, yeah, go, go, go get your wife. Okay, I'm going to go get my wife. Just make sure your kid's all riled up when I get back. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. <laughs> Karen, 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 baby, I just realized something. What, Boydie? I was wrong. I actually do want to have a kid. Oh, really, Boydie? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I met this kid today, and he made me want to have a kid. He was just such a great, awesome kid, and I think you should meet him so you can see how great it is to have a kid. Okay, Boydie, I want to meet him. Okay, come on. Okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey. Here's my wife. Oh, hey. Boydie tells me that you have the nicest son. Oh, yeah, my son is so nice. The nicest kid ever. But yeah, yeah, well, uh, where, 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 where is he? Oh, he's, he's laying down in bed. What, you didn't have him ready? Like with hammers and chainsaws and stuff? Oh, no, 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 no. When I wake him up, he's going to start acting bad, so I don't want you to miss anything. <laughs> That's good thinking. That's my man right there. All right, all right, go get your good son. I'll go get my good w son. Wait, 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 wait. Where's your wife? Oh, I told her to wash her feet with a whole bar of soap. Oh, thank God. That was disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to go get my good son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do that. Oh, honey, you're going to love this kid. He's the best kid ever. We could never have a kid better than this one. Jeffy, wake up! Good morning, Father. What? Jeffy, why are you dressed like that? Oh, these are the clothes that you bought me by being a very working hard father, and I appreciate it very much. But you've never worn those clothes before? Like, Jeff, Jeffy, like, you're acting really weird. What, what happened to the pits on your nose? Oh, well, I realized that it was very unhygienic, and I apologize for ever shoving it up my nostril. Jeffy, though, no, you're not acting the same. What, what happened to your helmet? Oh, I thought it was very foolish of me to wear my helmet when I was not riding a bicycle. And I apologize for embarrassing you in public. No, no, Jeffy, no, 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 no. I don't have time for you to act like this. I understand I called you a bad boy, so now you're trying to act like a good boy to try to be sarcastic and be an idiot. But no, 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 I need you to act like a bad boy because there's a guy in there that's paying me $10,000 for you to act crazy and break stuff and act stupid. So I need you to take this lighter. 
Okay, would you like me to light some candles, Daddy? No! I need to take this lighter and light the house on fire. Like, that'd just be really bad because the guy's paying me $10,000 for you to be a bad boy. So I don't have time for you to be a good boy. Be a bad boy! Well, lighting the house on fire would put everyone in danger and that would be extremely unsafe. I need you to be like that! Jimmy, stop it. You're coming with me to the other room and I need you to uh, crazy, break stuff. Just, just go crazy. Come on! Mm. All right, here's my son, Jeffy. It's a pleasure to meet both of you this evening. Ma'am, you look very beautiful. Oh my gosh, you're so nice! Yeah, 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 he's really nice, dude. What's going on? Oh, uh, I, I think, I think uh, he's... Oh, oh, I see what's going on. You're just making him look nice so that later when he starts breaking stuff, he'll look really crazy. All, all right, it's a good idea. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what's happening. That's definitely what's happening. All right, Jeffy. Um, Father, if it's not too much trouble, I would like to be called Jeff from now on. It sounds more proper. He's so well. Oh, man, Ad. Yeah, yeah, he sure is. But when's he gonna start cussing, though? Oh, don't, don't worry. He's gonna start. He's gonna start cussing. Um. Uh, all right, uh, Jeff. Um. I found this hammer. What are you gonna do with this hammer? Oh, would you like me to build an orphanage for all of the homeless orphans? He's so caring and selfless. Yeah, yeah. Some people would even say he's a little too caring and selfless. Oh, don't, don't, he's gonna go crazy. Whoa, whoa, watch this. Watch this. All right, Jeff. Why don't you take this hammer and go break a hole in the wall and, and yell the f word really loud? Well, that would be very immature of me and cost you a lot of money and damages. And he doesn't fall on the peer pressure! All right, all right, time out, time out. Me and Mario are going to go into the other room and we're going to talk about why Jeffy's so nice because I, I want to know how you get a kid to act like that. Come on. Okay, Jeff and I will get better acquainted. What is going on? What the hell is going on? I, I don't know. He usually acts bad. I don't know why he's acting so good. Yeah, I don't understand this. Why isn't he being bad? I don't even recognize that kid in there. I, I know. He was, he was bad earlier. Look what he did earlier. What? Kid, I want this kid back. I, I I sniff butts. That's gold. My wife would hate that. I, I don't know. He, he did this early. He even he even broke a hole in my wall earlier. Well, that I I actually did that a few videos ago. But this this is awesome. Why can't he do this? I don't know. He, he usually is always bad. I, I don't know what could have happened. Well, did you tell him to be good or something? Well, actually. What? Well. What? Earlier, I wished on a shooting star that I wish he would be good for one night. What, you did what? You wished upon a shooting star? Everybody knows that when you wish upon a shooting star, it comes true. I I, I would sing the Disney song, but Jiminy Cricket would fuck me. Well, well oh, okay, I, I got an idea, I got an idea. Why don't we just show your wife this wall and say that Jeffy did it earlier and, and then she wouldn't want him? Yes, yes, that's good, that's great, that's great. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll show her this and then we'll just tell him that, 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 that yeah, yeah, that he's on meds and that's why he's being good now. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he always goes crazy, but he has to, he has to be on a lot of medicine not to, not to, not to act normal. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go get it. Hey, baby. Barney, Jeff is the sweetest kid. I told him I was thirsty and he got me this bottle of water. Yeah, how sweet of him. Father, may I use the restroom? Yeah, whatever. Uh, anyway, I did tell her that one thing. Oh, honey, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, this kid seems nice, but I think this kid is bad news. Bad news? But he's such a sweetheart. Yeah, well, you're not going to think that after you see what he did to this wall. Come look. All right, honey, check this out. What? Jeff, what are you doing? Oh, I noticed there was some graffiti on the wall, so I thought I would repaint the wall for you, Father. Aw, he's a handyman, too! What's wrong with you? Be normal! Boydie, why are you yelling at him? Because he's not usually like this. Yeah, he's usually breaking stuff and... Ooh, I got an idea. What? Oh, wait, wait. Every time Jeff sees some green beans, he throws them. So, 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 let's, so let's go down to the kitchen and try to feed Jeffy green beans, and then your wife will see how crazy he is. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, man, honey, I'm really hungry for, for green beans specifically. I think we should go downstairs and eat a whole plate of green beans. Yeah, yeah, let, let's go do that. Come on, come on, Jeff, it's time for you to eat some green beans. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. This looks like a scrumptious plate of green beans, doesn't it, Jeff? It actually does. Thank you, Father, for going to work and working so hard to provide this amazing meal. Shall I say grace? What? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food, and thank you for allowing us to live another day. God is good. God is great. Thank you for this food. Amen. Shall we eat our green beans? No! No, no, we're not going to do that. This is not how you usually act. This whole thing is bull. Here's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to pick up the plate, and you're supposed to throw it like that. That's what you always do. Why? Really? Uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, Jeffy, I'm still mad at you. The day I need you to act bad, you act really good. And I don't know why you had to act so good. I just need you to act bad, but you had to act so good. Why did Mario! What? Why are you yelling at Jeffy? He can't do anything right. You yell at him when he's bad, and now you're yelling at him when he's good, and it just doesn't make sense. Let's go! Uh, uh. <sighs> What's that noise? Oh, no! 
Jimmy, what are you doing? You only wish that I would be a good boy for one night. And it's the next day, so. Well, before we start, I just wanted to show everybody this comment from Lucas Coleman 5454. He says, upload Cruella DeVille's cigarette smoke problem, please. I like that he says upload, as if we've already filmed it, but we're just keeping it to ourselves. And he says please with two question marks, like he's begging, like he really, really needs us to make this happen for him. Uh, listen, Lucas, buddy, we've never used Cruella DeVille in any video before, so we would have to introduce Cruella DeVille and introduce that she has a cigarette smoking problem and make a whole video about that, which I guess guess we could do, but everybody would be pretty confused and they would probably be a little bit upset with us. So I don't really know how to tell you this, but I, I don't really think that's going to happen. I mean, if you want to see Cruella DeVille's cigarette smoke problem, I guess we could maybe upload that on a different channel because it'll probably be demonetized. But otherwise, sorry, Lucas, I, I don't think that's going to happen for you. So what do you guys want to do today that isn't Corella Deville cigarette smoking problem? Well, I think your phone's ringing, Cody. Oh, you're right. I'm gonna go answer it. Uh, uh, uh Junior, uh, Macy's is calling about Ken's Christmas present. That says Timmy. Uh, Timmy is my sales associate from Macy's, so could you please take Ken in the other room? Why can't Ken listen? Well, I don't want him to find out about his Christmas present. It's not like he can hear. His ears are plastic. No, he has real human ears, Joseph. Uh, Junior, please. Okay. <sighs> What's up, babe? Hey, Cody. How's it hanging? Oh, you know, shriveled up and to the left with dried saliva on it. Ooh, how about a little bit of fresh saliva? <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'll be over in a little while. Okay. Okay, Junior, you can go back in with Ken. I don't know why I had to take Ken out of the other room. Well, I don't want him to know about his Christmas present. So Ken does not know about Timmy. What? Well, who's Timmy? Oh, oh, you mean Timmy from Macy's? Oh, I already told Ken about Timmy. Yeah, remember? Remember Timmy? He's the one who gives me a huge discount. Like a really big discount. So you don't want him to know about it? What, no, because I don't want him to find out about his Christmas present. Look, if we're going to keep talking about this, you have to take him out of the room again. <sighs> what? Junior, don't throw him. He has a herniated disc in his back. How does he have a herniated disc? From playing football? He doesn't play football, dude. He's a doll. He's not a doll, Joseph. He's all American. No, he's all plastic, dude. He's made in China. Wait, Cody, so you're cheating on Ken with Timmy? Well, I'm not cheating on him. I just like to spend time with Timmy. Why? Because he's an actual human being that breathes? Well, they're both human beings, Joseph. It's just that Timmy and I have a spiritual connection. I think we're the same sign. What, gay? Well, yes, Joseph, and I think our moons are in the same phase or some shit. So if you like Timmy so much, why don't you just break up with Ken? Well, I can't break up with Ken. We're soulmates. Okay, then stop talking to Timmy. Well, I... Look, I'll just figure it out, okay? Can you just go get Ken off the floor? Okay. I'm so sorry, Ken. I don't know why Junior threw you like that. I'll give you a back massage later. Hey, Cody! What the fuck? Hey, Timmy! What are you doing here just walking in like that? What about Ken's hernia to disc? Shut up! So what's up, Timmy? What the hell? Well, you were taking so long, plus my parents are home, so I figured I'll just come over. Oh, okay, great. That's fine. Is everything okay, Cody? No, I'm good. I am just peachy. Hey, Timmy, you know Cody loves a doll? He loves a doll? Uh, no, no, no. He, he's saying Adele wrong. I love Adele. Oh my god, like rolling in the deep? Yeah, yeah. No, he has a doll that he kisses. He kisses Adele? Uh, no, uh, Timmy, can you go wait in the other room? I have to call Macy's about your Christmas present. Oh my god, Macy's? Okay. Joseph, what the fuck? Dude, you're making him mad weird. Just tell him about your stupid doll. Yeah, tell Timmy about Ken. I'm not gonna tell him about Ken. Well, he needs to know about your stupid G.I. Joe. <laughs> G.I. Joe, he wishes. If you tell Timmy about Ken, he's not gonna care, I promise. Really? You think so? Yeah, he's not gonna care about your stupid doll. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'll tell him. Hold on, Junior. Before I go talk to Timmy, I gotta check on the eggs in my hatchery. Eggs in your hatchery? What are you talking about? I'm playing Dragon City, Junior. What's Dragon City? <laughs> you don't know what Dragon City is? <laughs> you lump. You fucking mook. What is Dragon City? <sighs> You're really gonna make me go over to the green screen, aren't you? Okay. Hey, guys. I want to tell you about this awesome game I've been into called Dragon City. It's a world filled with dragons where you get to be the boss. With over 1,000 unique dragons, you can collect, hatch, and evolve your own dragon empire. It's like having your own dragon dragon zoo full of your little dragon minions. Also, you're not just raising dragons, you're building their home, creating a city with magical habitats, cool buildings, and you can even customize the decorations. It's like being an architect and a dragon trainer all in one. For those who love a challenge, you can jump into PvP battles, test your dragon strength against other dragon masters, and climb the leaderboard to try to be number two, since I'll be number one. <laughs> 
Also, each of your dragons have special skills and abilities. Unleash them in quests and events like Wizards Hollow, where you have to use your big brain to win. And they have multiplayer. You can jump into a community of players where you can trade dragons and even join alliances for exclusive rewards. You can also check out what other people have built. You should check this game out too. Download Dragon City now by clicking the link in the description or scanning this QR code. And hey, you'll get a special bundle to kickstart your journey. 15,000 food and 30,000 gold and a super rare spaceship dragon. Don't miss out. Here you go, Junior. Play you some Dragon City. I'll go talk to Timmy. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hey, Timmy. Oh, hey, Cody! Look what I wrote! Oh, wow, that, that, that is something. So you think we're dating, right? About that. So I was thinking that maybe today we could officially become boyfriend and boyfriend. Ah! Oh. Isn't that so exciting? Yeah, well, can we add another boyfriend to that? What, what, what do you mean? Uh, well, Timmy, I'd like to introduce you to someone. This is Ken. Cody, who the hell is that? Well, we've been dating since about 2014. Are you freaking serious right now? You've been dating for nine years and you were just gonna leave me in the dark about it? Well, that's why I'm telling you now before things get too serious. So you were just keeping it a secret that you were dating this beautiful, chiseled up human being? But, but I still care about you too, though, Timmy. If you care about me, then prove it. Choose right now. Me or him. Uh, uh, Choose. I don't know. Make your uh, choice. I've just been with Ken for so long. Okay. I understand. You know what, Cody Phillip Nutkiss? You broke my heart. <laughs> but my middle name's not Philip. I don't know where you got that from. Philip on these nuts. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, I told Timmy. I guess it didn't go well because I heard Timmy yelling at you. Yeah, he was pretty upset. Wait, he's mad at a doll, dude? Well, he knows Ken's not a doll. Oh, so he's delusional too. You guys are perfect for each other. Well, I knew we were perfect for each other, but Ken and I are perfect for each other too. So how did Ken react when he saw your side piece? Oh, he won't stop yapping. I keep telling him I chose you over Timmy. You won. You get the Cody peen. God, but he just won't shut up. No, he doesn't really work at Macy's. Yes, that was a lie. God. Yes, you are still getting a Christmas present. Jesus, do you hear this guy? He's speaking Japanese. Oh, well, I mean, are you happy with your decision? Are you happy you chose Ken? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, it's Ken. I mean, just just look at those abs. You know, I just, just eat them up. Yeah, 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 I'm happy. Just distract me with something, okay? I don't want to talk about this. Okay, well, Chef Pee needs me to do my chores, so you guys can help me vacuum and suck up all suck! the- Suck! Talk about something else. Okay, well, um, there's a documentary on black holes. They suck up- Suck! Stop, stop saying suck so much. Okay, well, there's this video on Joey Chestnut, how he eats a lot of hot dogs. No hot dogs. No, no, everything just reminds me of Timmy. Boo-hoo-hoo. Why are you crying like that? Boo-hoo. It's getting sad. Boo-hoo. <laughs> I really love Cody. I really do. He just doesn't feel the same. I'm such a fool. I just wish he knew everything I do to show him that I really love Cody. He doesn't feel the same about me. I wish I could make him choose me. I am heartbroken. Love me. Shut the fuck up! Sorry, father!
Oh, I love sniffing Sharpies, dude. Me too, it's the best smell ever. Guys, I'm getting really tired of sniffing Sharpies. What, Cody, you love sniffing Sharpies. I know, but I'm starting to get a headache. Well, smell the orange one. It smells like a Sharpie. No, it smells like oranges. No, it smells like a Sharpie. This one smells like green apple. No, they all smell the same. Cody, what's wrong? I don't know, I'm just thinking a lot about Timmy. Well, you wanted Ken, right? Well, yeah, but I also want Timmy. I want his cake and I want to eat it too. Well, what is... Timmy offer that Ken can't do. Well, Ken's just not a throat goat. A what? You know, a throat goat, a glizzy goblin, a sword swallower. Well, can Ken ever become one of those? No, look at that mouth. It's too small. It'll never work. Well, why don't you ask Timmy if you, Ken, and him can be in a throuple? A what? A throuple, like, you know, where all three people date. What, that can happen? Yeah, it's called being in a poly... A poly... A, poly a, a parallelogram relationship. Y you mean a polyamorous relationship? That! Oh, that would be really cool. Okay, I'm gonna go ask Timmy if he'd be okay with that. <laughs> sob, sob, sob. Hey, Timmy. Cody, what are you doing here? You can't just walk into someone's house. Well, you just walked into Junior's house earlier. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you want, you slut? <laughs> what, are, are you trying to make me mad, or are you trying to get me back in the closet? It depends on what you say next. So... What is it you wanted to tell me? Well, uh, hold on. Damn, you gotta give me a minute. Oh, okay, so I have a proposal. Oh my god! You're proposing?! No, 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 not like that, but I do have an idea. Okay, so take a good look at Ken here. What would you rate him on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh, that's easy, a 10. Right? He's a total 10. So, what if you and me both dated Ken together? Is... is that allowed? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. But... The father says that a relationship should only be between a man and a woman. Well, look, we already broke that rule, so why not break one more? Okay! So we're cool now? It depends. Is the closet door open? Hell yeah, it is. I am sore. Hey, Cody, are you and Timmy friends again? Oh, I'd say we're more than friends. What would you say you are? Well, I would say I'd like to thank Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Click the link below to check them out now. So are you, like, more than friends, or friends? Um, we're, we're, um, we're banging. So, guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know, Junior. Maybe change your smoke detector? That's Chef Pee Pee's job. Dude! Let's make a rap song! Oh, that'd be so fun! Alright, Cody, drop a beat for me! What, me? Yeah, just drop a beat, God! Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I got a ball on my shirt, uh, uh. I go outside to eat dirt, uh, uh. You mess with me, you get hurt, uh, uh. I leave you blue like a smurf, uh. Leave you blue like a smurf! Like a smurf! Because when you beat up people, they turn blue! <laughs> like a smurf! Like a smurf! Oh, that was cool, Joseph. Yeah, that was off the dome, too, dude. I don't know, Joseph. That was pretty mid. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you hating on my bars, Cody? Yeah, Cody, that was awesome! Nah, I gave you that sick-ass DJ Mustard-style beat, and that was the riz you bring to it. It's kind of lame. My right shoe could make a better rap than that. What? Shoes can't even talk! Yeah, your shoe can't rap better than Joseph. I wouldn't say anything like that. <laughs> with shoe? Yeah, that's me. The shoe on your foot! Look, and I can make a better rap song than these fools. Well, then do it. What? Oh, you trying to put me on the spot? Okay, okay, then. Watch this. What? What? I'm a shoe. Huh? You. Yeah. Uh. What? You ain't got no soul. Huh? Uh. What? Pulling strings in this hole. Ah. I'm a shoe, I'm a shoe, looking fresh and brand new. Stepping shit, be you. I'm a player, I come and toe. Walk on you like bubble gum. Watch your stuff, these streets I run. What are those? Your shoes are dumb. Bitch, I'm fly like Air Force One. I'm a shoe, what? I'm a shoe, what? I'm a shoe, stuff on you, what? Stuff on you, stuff. You black and blue. I'm a shoe, what? I'm a shoe, yeah. I'm a shoe, stuff on you, what? Stuff on you, stuff you black and blue. Wow, I gotta admit, shoe, that shit went pretty hard. Yeah, I told you I go hard. See, I've been in the game for a while. Wow, Joseph, Cody's shoe did rap better than you. Whatever, dude. Look, how about we go outside and play basketball? Look, I got something to say, too. Basketball? Yeah, y'all been playing around with me for too long, and I gotta say what I gotta say right now. Okay, then say it. Uh, okay, okay, you think you can put me on the spot, too? All right, then, let's go. Watch me dribble, ooh, watch me dribble, ooh, 
Ooh, I might go between your nuts, nigga. Cross you up, leave you stuck. Getting green Milwaukee bucks. Stuck bucks. on you, don't give no fuck. Give no fuck. Fuck your ass, you out of luck. Fish into it, kinda suck. Yeah. But I still like that fit duck. I'm Michael Quack. Jordan, you're a smush. Falling like my dick was yeah. tough. Basketball, ball. basketball. Ball. I'm a ball. Cross you up, up. make you fall. fall. You ain't good at all. Dunk on you, Ooh. like Taco Fall. Cause the boy you small window dunk. Yeah. In the air, yeah. you can smell my ball. ball. Wow, I'm sorry, basketball. I didn't know you felt that way. Yeah, I'm getting tired of being dribbled all the time. It makes me dizzy. Well, that is what you were designed for. What? No, I didn't ask to be a basketball. Look, balls have feelings, too. Yeah, I can confirm that. Balls do have feelings. Well, I'm so sorry, basketball. Let's just go home. Cody, why is everything rapping? I don't know. It is kind of weird. Maybe we're just hungry, and that's why we're hallucinating. Oh, yeah. Let's go ask Chef Pee, -Pee to make us something to eat. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm These burgers look delicious! Hey, Chef PB! Not right now, Junior. Look, I'm making hamburgers. You should be grilling up some wieners with no buns. I don't have any wieners, Cody! You got one in your pants, you sexy mofo. Ew, shut up! Look, what do you guys want? Well, I think me and Cody are really hungry because we've been hallucinating all day. Like, we've seen random objects start rapping. What? Objects can't rap, Junior. Oh, I wouldn't say all that. What? Spatula? Yeah, it's me, Spatula. What? Spatula, you can talk? Yeah, and I have something to say. Oh, God damn it. Hey, where's the meat? Oh my God. Put it all in my face. Yum, yum. <laughs> where's the meat? I'm a spatula. Let me make you a grilled cheese. I'm really thin. Squeeze me between your butt cheeks. Hit it from the back. Flip them over like a flapjack. I love meatballs. It reminds me of a ball sack. Wow, Spatula. I didn't know you were gay. Me neither. Can I borrow that? Uh, yeah, Cody. Look, you can have it. Oh, man. Oh, uh, Chef people, we're gonna be upstairs. Just let us know when the burgers are done. Ugh, I don't even know if I want these burgers anymore. So, Cody, what do you want to do until the hamburgers are ready? I don't know. Junior, can you change that stupid smoke detector? It's getting annoying. We'd have to grab a ladder. It would be a whole thing. Yeah, and I don't want to grab a ladder because it might start rapping. Hey, guys, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, Jeffy. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just smacking the old diaper. And I'm tired of it. <laughs> diaper? You can talk? See, si, Holmes. And I got a rap song I want to rap. Why does this keep happening? Hey, it's the diaper Holmes. I got a whole lot of shit to get on my chest. Smack the diaper, make a sound, beat it up like Chris Brown. Need to shit, go to town. I can hold up to a pound. Take it off, what's that smell? Smell so bad, stinks like hell. So much brown, it's hard to tell. That was not Taco Bell. What do you think about that, Holmes? Why is your diaper Hispanic? I didn't even know my diaper could talk. Daddy, my diaper's rapping at me. Cody, why is everything rapping? I don't know, Junior. This is getting ridiculous. And change that goddamn smoke detector. Cody, we should focus on the important things, like random objects rapping, not a stupid smoke detector. Yeah, I guess you're right. What do we do? You want to play trains? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's not like they could rap or anything. Choo-choo! Oh, God damn it. It's me, Thomas, and I got something to rap about. Thomas? Chugga, 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 What? Choo-choo! Uh, we running trains, ho! Where that tunnel, uh? Where that tunnel, uh? Little engine that could, I'm the nigga that would. Choo choo on your bitch ass, Thomas with that cold gas. Six wheels, coming fast. Where's your bitch? Flat your ass, getting the train ran on her. How she like it? Hard and fast. What y'all think about that? Did I go off the tracks or what? Yeah, that shit did go pretty hard, Thomas. Why is the beat the same for all of them? I don't know. But I'm tired of everything rapping, Cody. Like, what's happening to us? I don't know. Maybe somebody slipped something into our drink? Bill Cosby hasn't been here, Cody. Yeah, that's true. If he had, he would have been rapping. I, I have an idea. Why don't we just call a doctor and ask a doctor what's happening with us? Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, let me call a doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, doctor. Something weird's happening to me and my friend. Oh, what's going on? Everything we look at starts rapping music. Yeah, I've been saying you kids gotta stop listening to that rap music. It'll rot your brain. All that talk about hoes and bitches and ass and cars and lean. It's too cool. The human mind can't can't fathom stuff that cool. You know, you can't spell crap without rap. Yeah, you kids gotta start listening to something else, like country or pop or rock and roll or bluegrass or polka or something, I don't know. So you think it's our fault because we like to listen to rap music? Oh yeah, definitely. You know what Dr. Dre said, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. I don't really know what that means, but I'm still gonna eat tricks. I don't even care if I'm not a kid. Yeah, you know, I actually got pulled over when I was a teenager for listening to rap music. Yeah, they searched my car and everything. Taught me a valuable lesson, it did. So now I'm a cop and I pull people over for listening to rap music. Isn't that ironic? Well, doctor, like, no, something like really weird's happening because like objects will rap at us. Like we saw a basketball start rapping at us. Oh, well maybe you kids are just schizophrenic and you're just now noticing. Hey, man. Who the hell said that? 
Over here, man. Wait, it's gotta be an object trying to rap. On your head, dude. On my head? Yeah, what's up? It's me. <laughs> well, it's your bald spot. My bald spot? Yeah, I've been here for years. Now it's my time to shine. <laughs> well, what do you have to say, bald spot? Uh, check this out. <laughs> yeah, the bald spot, nigga. What? Yeah. You going bald, Brooklyn? Uh, uh, just cut it off, Brooklyn. No hair, I don't care, boss. Bout it makes you still wear a hat. Cover up, I'm still here, just give up. All the ladies laugh at you. Looking like Mr. Magoo. Need some hair, you wish it grew. What's the mean you look like you? <laughs> what you think about that, Baldy? That was mean. I'm gonna go put on a hat to shut him up. <laughs> Howdy. Yeah, now that I've shut him up, this is pretty weird. Everything keeps rapping. What do you think it is, Doctor? I don't know. Maybe we have some kind of like new rare disease that makes things start rapping? You've never heard of something like this before? No, never. Junior, change that goddamn smoke detector! Okay, I'll change it right now, Cody. Wait a minute, that's not a smoke detector. That's a carbon monoxide detector. There must be a carbon monoxide leak in here. Ah, yeah it is. Oh, goddamn it. Beep, 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 beep. Ah. I was trying to let y'all know y'all was gonna die. Ah. Ah. Die! Ha ha ha, you almost died from carbon monoxide I should warn you, shit, I tried You ignore me, let it slide Glad you heard me, took some time Made a noise, I'm not a mime Now you know that you didn't die We cool, not niggas for life Well, that makes a lot of sense It was a carbon monoxide leak It was making us all hallucinate that everything was rapping I'm gonna go find the leak and fix it Well, Cody, I'm glad he figured out the problem Yeah Hey, y'all forgot about me, Cast the Rapper And I got something to say No, we're out of here Yeah, I don't wanna hear that Hey, we are gone